Hey everybody, welcome back to the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. My name is Scott. If you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different whiskeys, such as bourbons, rye, American style whiskeys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to hit the bell notification. That's going to alert you to when I'm doing uh, new uploads, live streams, things along those lines. So first I want to say a big thank you to Wild Rye Distilling out of Bosman, Montana for sponsoring this review. So before we get into the review, and today from Iron Root Republic out of Denison, Texas, we've got two of their bourbons. But again, before we get into the review, roll that intro. So today from Iron Root Republic out of Denison, Texas, we've got two of their bourbons. First, we've got the Iron Root uh, Harbinger XC. Uh, we'll get into the uh, second expression here uh, before too much longer. But first, let's go through um, the uh, Harbinger XC. This is going to be bottled at uh, 90 proof or 45% uh, ABV. Uh, mash bill on this was undisclosed. Um, not front age stated however on the back it is age stated as uh, 24 months or or two years uh, msrp on this is approximately 35 dollars so why don't we get into the review of this then we'll shift into the uh the second bourbon and we'll kind of go through a little bit of uh, information uh regarding that as well so all right, so like I do really with all of my reviews is we'll go through, again, the appearance, uh, we'll nose it, we'll taste it, we'll get into the finish, uh, and then go through really any general information regarding the, um, the product itself and or the, the channel. So, all right. So as you can see, really nice kind of amber uh, type of, of color to that, kind of a light mahogany type of color. Really, really nice uh, nose, or uh, excuse me, nice color. And a lot of the, the um, bourbons from Texas, you know, get a lot of that nice, deep uh, color to it. Um, I think with that heat, it just does something with drawing that, uh, that color out of those barrels and, and into the whiskey. So really, really nice color for uh, 24 months. So, all right, so let's get into the nose. So right away, a lot of those dark fruits are kind of coming through. Still a little bit, little, little bit of sweetness that's there. Um, a lot of like a cherry chocolate kind of coming through. Definitely some oak. Uh, a little bit of citrus to that as well. Uh, and there's actually a bit of um, what you would think from like a, a finished bourbon. There's a little bit of a, a finishing kind of aspect to that. And I think that has a lot to do just with where it kind of comes from. A lot of those those high heat uh, Texas bourbons have a lot of their their own kind of, um, uh, you know, profile to them. So I get a little bit of like a finishing type of, of aspect to that. Some corn is there. A um, little bit of butterscotch kind of coming through. Oh, definitely a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, really, really nice, really nice nose. So let's get into the taste. Cheers. Yeah, let's take another, another quick sip. So my initial thought right away is at 90 proof, getting a little bit more heat than I would expect. Nice vanilla note to it. Definitely a nice oak flavor to it. I think with that heat uh, really gets into that barrel, draws some of that oak flavor, um, you know, out of the barrel and into the whiskey. Those, those dark fruits, um, I think when, when a barrel gets hit with that that heat like it does in texas um it has a tendency to bring out some of those those oaks and those dark fruit type of characters
yeah, some of the corn presence. It's got a nice creamy mouthfeel to it. You know, does a pretty decent job of, of kind of coating the mouth. Uh, again, after you take that initial sip, I would say it starts to drink more like a, a 90 proof um, bourbon would. Again, not much heat. You know, and a lot of times that heat just comes from the initial shock to your, your palate with the, um, with the proof of the, of the whiskey. But yeah, really nice kind of uh, vanilla notes that are there uh, balancing or mixing in with that, that nice kind of oak that's there. Not overly sweet, not over oaky. A uh, good kind of balance of, of those two. Uh, not overly dry. Uh, finish with this probably starts to get into uh, more of the, you know, shortish to maybe medium uh, side of, of it. But a nice, really, you know, easy drinking um, uh, bourbon. So, yeah, I really, really like that. Yeah, again, just as that finish really develops, uh, the profile is that, you know, oak and vanilla balanced. A little bit of cinnamon there actually now. Again, a little bit of dryness that's there so that with the dryness kind of starts to come with the, the oak and the leather, maybe some of the tobaccos, those types of notes um, when anything begins to kind of dry out, especially for, for me and what I get one with a uh, kind of like a, a drier type of palette. So yeah, really nice. Really nice, um, you know, bourbon, just, you know, easy to sip on, um, have no problem just sitting down with a nice glass, nice pour of that at the end of the night. Really nice, really nice bourbon. So, all right, let's, um, let's move on to the, the second. Let's take a sip here. Okay, so again, now we've got the... Um, Again, this is their, their Iron Root uh, Harbinger 2018 uh, non-chill filtered uh, bourbon whiskey. Mash bill uh, undisclosed on this. Uh, basically, this is going to be, you know, um, uh, for lack of a better term, barrel proof. Um, there could be a little bit of water added. However, uh, they've got it um, at uh, um, 115 proof or 57.5% uh, uh, ABV. So uh, age stated on this one is 27 months. Um, MSRP right around that $50 uh, range as well. So, all right, why don't we get into, into this? All right, so as you can see with, with this, now again, this is you know gonna be a higher proof. Um, it's gonna have a little bit more age, only about three, uh, three months uh, more uh, aging, but as you can see, this is a really nice kind of dark, deep um, copper type of, of color to that. So it's really picking up a lot of that color uh, from, those, from those barrels. So really, really nice, nice color to that. So, all right, let's get into the nose. Oh boy. Yeah, so with this, um, now we've got more of a, an amplified uh, nose. I mean, we're moving up a considerable amount uh, in in proof, uh, basically 25 uh, um, proof higher. Uh, but right away, you get hit with those really, really nice dark fruits, a sweet dark fruit type of note. Yeah, that, that chocolate is really kind of coming through in this. Yeah, I mean, it smells creamy as well. It smells like it would be very a very creamy type of, of drink. The oak is there for sure. Um, even picking up a little bit of like a like an orange zest uh, or 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 orange um, note to that. Um, and I actually pick up, and maybe this is just from a, a, some of the oak that's there, but a little bit of like a like a smoky type of of note to that. Huh. Yeah, and, and now with also with the citrus, I'm getting a bit of a, like kind of like a green apple um, citrus on that as well. So I got a little bit of orange initially, but now I get a little bit more of kind of like a, like an apple, maybe even like a, like a pear type of, of nose. 
yeah, quite a bit going on with, with that. So, and again, I think a lot of this can be attributed to that high heat, you know, in, in Texas, and it does a lot of really interesting things to, to bourbon. So, uh, so let's get into the, uh, into the taste. Cheers. So again, 115 proof, little bit of heat right away. That's more mid to the back of the palate. Didn't seem to do a lot heat wise uh, initially up front. But again, now you're getting hit with a big wave of those dark fruits, the vanillas there, that oak and rye spice. Yeah, I'm even getting, um, well, the mouthfeel, first of all, is, is fantastic. It just coats the mouth really well. That 115 proof is, is doing this, this bourbon uh, a lot of justice. Fantastic. Um, it's sitting right there on that, that mid to the back of the palate um, and just kind of exploding with, with flavors. Um, I also get a bit, of a, a bit of like a coffee note uh, to that. As well, um, I didn't get that really on the nose, but now as the as it kind of sits there on the palate, I'm picking up a bit of a, a coffee type of, of note to that. Some of those, maybe like a like a toffee uh, type of of note to it. It's a fantastic mouthfeel. Um, just when it coats the mouth the way it does, uh, I mean, it's hitting on, you know, inside a book. Um, it's just a lot of that dark fruit and oak. Um, some of the, like the vanilla uh, type of, of notes are there. Yeah, really, really nice, full-bodied, um, you know, bourbon for something that's aged 27 months, it really gives you, uh, the, the impression that this is a, a really, a, a more advanced or, or, you know, an aged type of whiskey, you know, more so in that, you know, could be even six to eight years. It's really giving you a lot of those refined, uh, flavors, but it's, it's a fantastic balance in terms of what you get up front and then mid palate and then the back. You get hit with a lot of these different um, flavor profiles, which is the sign of uh, a very of a very good quality uh, bourbon. I think they've done a, an absolutely fantastic job. Now, I think both in terms of trying to do any comparison, I don't think you can really compare the two. They're they're different. Um, uh, you know, this is what I, I would kind of say is probably more of a an entry level um, type of bourbon, something that's just going to be uh, simpler, um, you know, not as much going on there, still good bourbon flavors. But once you jump up into the um, into the 115 proof, um, I mean, it is really, really a, a fantastic uh, bourbon, those dark fruits and vanillas and caramels. Um, they just it just covers your mouth, coats the mouth really well. Good mouth feel. A little bit of cinnamon kind of coming through. Yeah, and it's interesting that that kind of coffee note uh, for me continues to kind of come through. But um, really, really nice um, bourbon whiskey. Um, one I'll, I'll definitely be be going back to for for sure. So um, again, Iron Root Republic out of Denison, uh, Texas. This is going to be their um, their Iron Root Harbinger uh, XC, and this is going to be the uh, Iron Root Harbinger, um, basically you know barrel proof. Um, again, 115 proof, 57.5 percent uh, ABV, age 27 months. So fantastic. Fantastic lineup um, with both. They they both offer something completely different. So you know not everybody wants 115 proof um, and vice versa. So um, you know again both really really nice 
uh, bourbon. So uh, with that being said, so like, subscribe, leave comments. Um, if, if this is something you've had, uh, very interested to know your thoughts on one or both. Um, I think they've done a, an absolutely fantastic job with, with both of, of these bourbons. So uh, I, would, I would highly recommend uh, both of these. So, um, and again, I have to say thank you uh, to Wild Rye um, uh, Distilling out of Bosman, Montana for sponsoring uh, this review of the Iron Root Republic uh, bourbon. So with that being said, and like I say, it's about the, excuse me, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.